Welcome back again, this is Fox, another light gain tip for Satisfactory. Today we're going to be talking about screws, the best way to deal with large amounts of screws in your factory. Mainly light gain because you are going to be dealing with massive numbers. Uh, as I said in the previous video, by light gain I'm talking about if you're uh, setting yourself a massive project like my project for this save, if you can bear with the FPS because every single machine is running now so FPS is taking a dump. I'm doing 40 thermal propulsion rockets a minute, which is massive. I needed something like 20,000 screws. 20,000 screws a minute for the various different production chains that I've got going on. This one we're looking at here needed 11,600 screws a minute. We are making rotors. So, the best way to deal with screws like game, I mean, there is a possibility that you can do away with screws altogether. There are alternate recipes. I'm pretty sure when I say this, there are ultimate recipes that can do away with the need for screws altogether. Let's just check that out quickly. If we search for rotors, I'm pretty sure there is an alt for rotors that doesn't use screws. There you go. Wire. Yeah, so you can do away with screws altogether. That's probably the smart thing to do if you don't want to deal with screws. But some of the recipes are really good. The ones that do use screws. You can see this one is the best um, output per minute. You get 11.25 rotors per minute. The Y one, although you're doing away with screws, gives five a minute. The standard recipe gives four a minute. So it's twice as more than twice as effective than any other recipe. So for efficiency, this is the recipe that you should be using for rotors in all honesty, late like game. So a lot of screws. So let's do away with the fact that you, you can do away with screws. Sometimes you are just going to need to make them. Best way to deal with large amounts of screws is one, use the steel screw recipe. These are the recipes what you've got for screws. This is just a satisfactory wiki. So the basic one uses 10 iron rods to make 40 screws a minute. This one uses the casted screw, which is a very, very good recipe. It uses 12 and a half iron ingots a minute to make 50 a minute. So um, you've got an extra production, you've got, you're cutting a production chain out by not having to make the rods. You can go straight from ingots to screws and you're, and you're making 10 more a minute than the standard recipe. But this one, the steel screw, is by far the best. It uses only five steel beans a minute to make 260 screws a minute. It's absolutely bonkers. I mean, you've got to weigh up. Steel production is obviously a bigger pain in the ass than it is to just make some iron ingots and 10 to screws, but... As I said, late game, if you've got the steel production going, or if you haven't, you should be using this recipe. So, part one, dealing with massive amounts of screws. Use the steel screw in, in steel screw recipe. It's by far the best recipe possible. If you do use the steel screw recipe, you can then do the second stage, or the second part of the tip for me, which is build a constructor for every machine that needs screws and directly feed it into it. You can see these, look. This is clocked at 93 93.83333%. It's just the number that I needed. Each one of these needs 182.975 screws a minute. Now, we've already found out that one of these constructors can pump out 260 a minute. That's standard, not overclocked. So we're underclocking this to 70.375% to produce me the 182.98 a minute that it needs. So the only thing I've got coming into this factory to make all of these all of these rotors is the steel beams, which are here, which are being turned into screws in the constructors that I've just shown, and uh, two lines of uh, copper sheets. I believe these are 480 lines. They're on a 780 line. I think they may be more than that. It might be 600, I think. I can't remember the exact maths. But yeah, by far the best way to deal with screws is to do this me method. Have the constructor feeding directly into the machine that you need. I've done this somewhere else along the production line. I can't remember exactly where it was. I'm, I'm thinking it might be the rear encased industrial beams or something like that. But yeah, this is how I deal with it. So can you imagine trying to ship this amount of screws around? I believe it was, I think there's 60... 60 assemblers here using 182 a minute so 60 times 182 it's nearly 11,000 screws now that would be something stupid like well let's let's do it let's just do 11,000 10,000 divided by 780 13 so 13 
780 belts of screws. Now, if you set up a separate screw factory somewhere else, or even on the next platform over, you would then have to merge these screws onto 13 780 lines and then have the hassle of trying to load balance them back out again. Can you imagine that? What 13 belts would look like? I mean, this bus at its highest point is only 13 belts high. I'll show you what that looks like just for a bit of uh, context. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is a 12 high belt bus. So can you imagine what 13 belts of screws would look like? And then having to get these down from another factory into here, low balance stuff, all the hassle of trying to work out how many machines you can filter. Don't do it. Just use this method. Use the steel screw method. I'm pretty sure in saying that these the 260 screws a minute these constructors can pump pump out there's no recipe that needs more than that so you can always have just one constructor feeding one assembler manufacturer whatever it is that you you're sending the screws into so yes constructor steel beam comes in constructor can turn it into screws straight into the assembler so much easier so much cleaner all the belt work in under here is literally just the steamed copper sheets coming in and then the rows going out it saved me so much space if I was having to snake 13 780 belts under here to try and feed all of these assemblers, it would have been an absolute nightmare. This is something that I have only just started doing for this project. Last time, uh, when I did my 100 turbo motors, I did use the steel screw method, but I chucked them all on 780 belts and then tried to deal with it later down the line, sent them across to different factories. This time, because I already had the steel made, uh, it was one of the first things that I built for this project, actually, the big steel factory, which is... You can't see it from here because we're so far away. It's part of the oil production facility, which is there. You can just see it over the horizon. There's, uh, If you haven't seen my videos on that, check back in the description. So, yeah, that's it. Nice and easy tip. Use the steel screw method. Put the constructors with the output going straight into the machines that you want. Don't have to deal with shipping massive amounts of screws around your factory ever again. Okay, hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned. Um, very, very, very soon there's going to be a world tour where I'm going to go over this in its entirety. As I said at the start of the video, it's now done. Every machine is running. That's why my FPS is bad. I am making 40 thermal propulsion rockets a minute everything starts here increases in complexity as it goes along finishes there 36 manufacturers making the thermal propulsion rockets but yeah for now that is it stay tuned for the next one as always please give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it uh, join the discord and yeah see you in the next one